Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Keith and today we are going to talk about measuring a cassette deck motor torque. But first, uh, let's consider what torque actually is. Torque is a force applied to an object at some distance from a point. So, uh, for example, if you are putting in a a bolt and you are using a wrench to do it then consider the bolt as the point and the end of the wrench that you're pushing on as um, the distance so you push on the wrench so you're applying a force at some distance which is the length of the wrench so if you if you could knew how much force you were putting on the wrench and you knew the distance of the wrench, you would multiply those two numbers together and you would get a torque. The units of the torque in the English system are typically pound feet or for small uh, measures of torque it would be pound inches. In the uh, metric system, the unit of torques are newton meters or for a smaller uh, torque you would be like um, uh, newton meters times 10 to the minus fourth um, or newton, it could be like newton centimeters but that's would be less correct. The correct way would always be Newton meters and then like a times 10 to the minus fourth to signify that it's a very small value. So for our cassette decks, um, it's usually measured in uh, Newton meters times 10 to the minus fourth or uh, pound inches. For reel to reels, it's it's much easier because we we just a, attach a spring scale to a piece of string and wrap the string around the reel, hit the play button, and then as the string uh, as the reel spins, it, it applies a force to the to the scale, and we measure that force and multiply that force in newtons times the radius of the reel, which is the distance, and we get the torque. Cassette decks, we can't do it that way. It's much too hard. There was no way you could easily get a spring scale wrapped around the spindle of a cassette deck so that you could actually measure it. Uh, so we use a device that looks like this. This is a uh, cassette torque meter. It's a specially made cassette that has a torque measuring or a torque indicating uh, device built into it. Uh, it probably is a, uh, a little spring, that uh, a coiled spring, and as the reel moves, it, it applies pressure against the spring, which is trying to unspring and the reel is trying to spring it or wrap it back up and it measures that resistance and it's calibrated in uh, times 10 to the fourth newton meters so for this cassette deck which is a v95rx um, we'll just quickly uh, run down so in the fast in the forward or reverse mode, we hit the forward button here, and we're going to look at this value right here. The specs are, uh, it needs to be between 45 and 65. Uh, 
newton meters times 10 to the minus fourth and it's sitting just at 45. Um, so it's in um, but just barely it's right at the bottom end unfortunately the this particular deck has no adjustment for the torque uh, it is what it is uh, you can um, clean the belts maybe that could help um, or there's some pinch we uh, reels inside that rub against each other and you can clean them but basically um, short of replacing all the rubber and maybe the actual motor um, then you uh, there's nothing you can do on higher end decks like I recently worked on a Tascam 112B it actually had electrical adjustments for all the torques because the the motors are uh, controlled differently than they are in this this um, V95RX which is a uh, early 1980s vintage cassette deck so um, let's look at the, at the, uh, the fast forward now the fast forward re rewind spec is um, 80 to 150 uh, newt meters times 10 to the fourth so we hit the and we see that we're sitting around uh, more than 90 and less than 100 <laughs> so so about 95 so that's it's well in specs and uh, anyway that's how you use that uh, device um, like I said it is a special made cassette they are available on eBay um, uh, they come from China I don't know how long it would take or if they're available when I ordered it uh, it was actually already in the state so it didn't take long for me to get it um, I can't remember how much it cost I think it was somewhere around a hundred dollars but if you are in the business of aligning cassette decks you really need a device like that so I, uh, I hope you found it interesting if you have any questions at all then um, just leave me a comment and I'll get back with you about it if uh, you found this video helpful give me a big thumbs up and if, if this is the type of content you like then uh, subscribe to my channel it really helps I appreciate it and uh, as always remember that the number one way to keep your vintage audio equipment working is to use it regularly take care and bye for now mm -hmm.